video, we're going on the longest urban cable car here in the Northern Hemisphere. So this one goes all the way through the, the suburbs of this Turkish city and I uh, can't wait to check it out. And there's like no one here, so we've got the place to ourselves. So this cable car actually has four different stations along its route as it climbs up into the mountainscape with uh, these far-reaching suburbs. And so we're gonna go up through all the stations and check them out. So another cool thing about this cable car is that it's built on top of the road network. There wasn't any room in this urban environment to build all the pylons and towers and everything. So they actually decided to build it right on top of the highway system. So you'll see the stations are actually built on top of the intersections as we cruise up here into the sky. And there we go, the city behind us as we make our first journey. This is actually surprisingly very, very good. 65 cents. Imagine having a cable car go over your house 24 hours a day. <laughs> it's amazing. I do wonder what it would like to be in this cabin during a snowstorm or perhaps a big uh, windy day because we're rocking it around quite a bit as we're quite high up. Be a little bit nervous actually. Imagine if you live there, you'd be able to see people come past your house. This station is built in the middle of a roundabout, which is really quite incredible. Because it's a suburban uh, public transport network, there's not actually anything really at the top, which is a shame because there were some mountains around this city that would be quite fascinating to have this cable car go up to. When they built it, they were quite surprised about the number of people who came here to ride it for pleasure, which I find very interesting considering cable cars mostly are built for pleasure, but this one is mainly just for transport. This is just incredible, like looking at it, this is, more cities need this. It's incredible, like we're just going straight up a massive hill over the houses, there's no traffic, there's no worries, and you would imagine that they would build vast infrastructure or have roads going up the switchback. I can think of at least a dozen cities that need something like this. It's funny, they build all these like running tracks in the parks everywhere. And it's really, it's really quite funny. We're just, uh, you can't help but judge some of the people's apartments down there that they've just got junk everywhere. But these actually look like quite nice houses, but just people have so much stuff. And that's the problem, that's the one major flaw with this type of infrastructure is that we can really see into people's homes. And now we come back to the first station where we began and that's it for our little ride. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next uh, mini little video <laughs> here on that, uh, whoa, <laughs> aviation station. <laughs>